Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, today I am going to talk about the future studies. What is the future? Future means uh, it is not happening. It will be happening in, uh, in the sometimes after you can say. Future studies. Look at the uh, the biometrics and also the word, content of the word. Future studies, futures research, futurism, futurology, is a systematic and uh, interdisciplinary holistic study, social, maybe technology, uh, technological advancement, climate change, space exploration, universe, racism, mathematics, earth, environmental change. Uh, existential uh, risk and the cashless society society uh, collapse societal collapse maybe these kind of things accelerating change uh, uh, Kardashev scale Moore's law resources uh, depletion these are things uh, Future of our world, right? Future of our society. Uh, foresight, future proof, futures wheel, uh, futures workshops, horizon scaring, a lot of things, right? So, in this episode, we are going to talk about a, a brief idea about the future, uh, study about the future. You can say, <laughs> you can say, uh, just you can say, study about the future. And interdisciplinary history and uh, holistic study of the social technological advancement. Also, uh, the other environmental trends often uh, for the purpose of the exploring how people will live and work in the future. It's a you can say prediction, predictive techniques such as forecasting, and uh, can be applied. Weather forecasting also futuristic study, part of futuristic study, right? Can be applied, but uh, contemporary future studies, there are some you can say uh, some kind of uh, scholars, uh, scholars emphasis also importance of the uh, systematically exploring the alternatives. In general, it can be considered as a branch of social social science. It's a branch of social science and also it's an extension of the field of history, history, past, present, future, like that. So future studies, it's a, it's a, it's a colleague, colleagueally called a futurist. So, so there are so many fields uh, and predictions. Seek to understand, this is all about seek to understand uh, what what is likely and continue to what could uh, presumably change presumably change part of the uh, it's a kind of part of the disciplines the, the seeking of systematic and uh, pattern pattern based understanding and uh, of the past and the present past and the present will talk about will create the future right so that's number one and explore the uh, possibility of the future events and the trends. Climate changing, maybe even world collapse, societal collapse, wars, uh, wars, nuclear holocaust. Let's say uh, so many societal collapse. You can say, right? This is very interesting uh, thing to me. Actually, very very interesting that I am very interesting of that uh, study. And I'll give you the overview today because I don't, uh, I will not have the time to do everything and unlikely to the Frisker science and uh, where is the, where narrow more specific uh, system is uh, studied futurology concerns much uh, bigger and more complex uh, complex of world systems uh, the methodology and the, uh, the knowledge uh, are much less proven than the natural science and social science like sociology and the economics right and there is a debate uh, there is a debate actually 
actually what has the weather the, the, the weather this is disciplines as sort of the so, social and the social science at the part of the uh, part of the art of the science art or science we, we don't know actually but it is sometimes described as a uh, pseudoscience pseudoscience you know about pseudopods i remember the pseudopods when i was uh, very young at that time i was 19 years old uh, uh, 1995 i remember pseudoscience and nevertheless the association of the uh, professions of the futuristic futurists were formed in 20, uh, 2002 <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. This is deploying the uh, four sides of the competency, uh, competency model in 2017 and also it's possible to study is the study it academically and the exchange of the FU uh, Berlin, the master course, right? So uh, UNESCO uh, declared the December 2 as the world's future of state, right? It's, all about all across the world, all across the nations, all across the uh, societies. Uh, this encourage it makes encourage to in, uh, uh, inclusive and uh, cross disciplinary discussion about the future studies, right? And also future studies. It's a kind of a interdisciplinary play field and. Uh, Aggregates of analysis and trends, and uh, both lying in the prof uh, both lay and professional methods, the the composed possibility possible future. It includes analyzing in the sources of the patterns and causes of the changes and the uh, stability to attempt the uh, develop the forecast, uh, foresight. And around the world, the field is variously referred to be futurist studies and futurist research and also strategic uh, foresight, futuristics, uh, futurist thinking, futuring, futurology. So this is all about the overview of the future study. You can say, if there is a climate change, say, uh, very simply, very simply, uh, what we are current, what we have the current situation of everybody, everyone's current situation would, would describe and would uh, would would be the result and could be the result of what we have done in the past. Right? That is the reason that we are here, keep kept up hit here, right? If we did something precisely to ourselves, to our uh, our life and our organization or, or to our country uh, it may be everlasting and it will be a reasoning to have a great future for us that's why we always tell the children to study and everything right? so uh, but my actions present it will be answerable for me in uh, in the future my future uh, career right so foresight was the original term and the, uh, was first used in the sense of H.G. Wells in 1932, right? It is futuristic studies, futuristic studies, right? Uh, and uh, what has happened in the future and the philosophy, you can say, it's, a, it's, a, it's all about uh, gaining the technology. Uh, uh, Moore's law also example of the future, uh, futurology. It's an ob uh, observation that the number of trans transistors and integrated circuits I would say you about something little about the Moore's law. Moore's law, it's integrated circuits, IC, uh, integrated circuits means the IC uh, doubles about every two years. Uh, Moore's law is observation and uh, also it's a projection of the historic historical trend rather than the law of physics and the uh, uh, empirical uh, relationship and the gains from the uh, experience in production experiencing production here you can say like that the observation is is named after Gordon Moore he's a uh, he is the uh, Fairchild semiconductor founder of the uh, Fairchild semiconductor in Intel and former CEO of uh, all later 1960s right who is uh, who in 1965 who posted the doubling every year 
the speed of the number of transistor transistors so we have it give it is it is given the great capacity and it is given the uh, great great fundamentally and uh, it, it gives you a, a great significant increment a increase of the uh, temperature environmental temperature world temperature right temperature global global warming and also uh, the number of components for the integrated circuits and also it's uh, it's projected at the rate of growth would be continue at the last uh, 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 least another uh, another decade right so in 1975 looking forward to the next decade and uh, also uh, these be reversed uh, Reverse the forecast of doubling every two years. Compound, compound the the annual growth of rate of forty five one percent. It's a big number. Uh, also, uh, while Moore did not use the uh, empirical uh, evidence and forecasting that the historical uh, trend would continue, and his prediction held since nineteen seventy five, and it's become known as it has become known as a law, right? Actually, the most uh, prediction it has been uh, used for semiconductor industry and guide long-term planning to the get sets of the uh, research and the development and uh, the functioning and uh, in some extent to the self-fulfilling uh, uh, prophecy and uh, also advancement of the digital electronics such as uh, reduction of uh, quality adjusted adjusted microprocessors prices how it could be price and the memory capacity ram and the flash as well as uh, well and also the improvement of the sensors and even the number of size of the pixels and uh, the digital cameras and also the strongly linked to the moore's law so all are strongly combined with the, into the moore's law so this is about the future is that right so this is how future could be changed now uh, I, earlier in my video i i was talking about the societal collapse as well so, in this video and this episode, when I have time, I will uh, I will post it. I will post uh, those videos and I will upload those videos so I can say about what would be the future of the world, right? So, some kind of prediction, some kind of clues, uh, some kind of scenarios. Through the scenarios and through the through the facts, we can understand and we can uh, we can uh, uh, explain those things right into the future. So uh, that's how it goes. And see you another great video and bye bye and take care. Uh, I'll see you in the next in another another time to my next video because uh, I want to. Uh, after a long time by the English channel, I did not uh, stop some. I don't. Uh, I did not stop the, some uh, videos about the Buddhism, so I have to uh, do that, uh, that as well. And see you. Have a great day. Bye bye.